So many bees. So many wings. So many stings. Uh. What? Oh, uh, hey guys, Multigame Master One reporting in, and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we explored Click Clock Wood in both the spring and the summer, and in this episode, we are going to explore Click Clock Wood in the fall and the winter. And if you guys heard me just now, then you'd understand why I was saying the word um earlier. And yeah, I'm still a little bit shooken up after last episode. But we're not going to worry about that for much longer. Let's just get going. Alright, so here we are in Click Clock Wood in the fall. And there's Eerie again. Better get Eerie more caterpillars. Me 10 this time. Despite the fact that you're a baby, why can't you get them? Sheesh, you're a large ego. But, I guess we're gonna have to do it. So in the fall version of Click Clock Wood, we have a lot of leaves piled up. I'm surprised that no one has come out here to rake up all of these leaves. But then again, it's in the middle of a forest, so... I don't see any particular reason as to why someone would just come out here and rake all of these leaves. I mean, look at them, it's constantly falling off of the big tree. Right before us. And they're piled up pretty much just about everywhere. I know I wouldn't come out here to rake up all of these leaves. It'd be a lot of hard work on my part. But then again, each of us have to work hard every single day, I guess. Oh, and I, I was almost forgetting. We need to go into Naughty's home in order to pick up the prize that he was going to give us earlier. And by prize, I mean reward. So this is Naughty's home. Oh, here you are at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Well, sorry, Naughty, but we couldn't entirely get inside your home because of a situation outside. Have you ever thought about relocating or moving into a different forest with a means of an accessible reach into your house? Seriously. Okay, so we have the Jiggy, so we're gonna move out. Now from this point, we can go elsewhere. Okay, so on this bear snare, we have some notes. So it's Wonder Wing time. And yet, I still took a hit. Fail. Anyway, moving on. Okay. We have this plant right here that we need to check on, and there's Gobi again. I know that he would be sitting right there. Gobi? You know you want to. Do it, you fat uh, hump camel! So after watering the flower two times, the flower grows and there's a jiggy. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. Lava world, huh? I wonder what kind of lava world he's talking about. I have a feeling we'll find out what that is soon enough. So moving right along after grabbing that Jinjo, So this is pretty much the last time in which we'll be able to see Gobi in this game. But it doesn't really matter because we have no further use of him and his water. So wherever he goes to get more, he can happily keep it for himself. So moving right along, we have Mumble Skull over there. I wonder what he's doing now. Here's another caterpillar right here. Remember, we need 10 of these to feed Eerie. Here's another caterpillar. How convenient. 
Mumbo busy, sweep many leaves. No magic today. Okay. Actually, I really don't blame him because there are just so many leaves piled up in his room. So I'll just leave Mumble to it. We've no further need for his magic. At least not at the moment. So let's grab these wave boots and get out of here. And now from this point, we can just keep circling around the tree in search of some more things that we can pick up. Like these notes, for instance. Gosh, look at all the leaves around the tree. I wonder how many are possibly on there anyway. Another snare bear with notes. Thought you could shield them against me, now could you? Again, that's what you get for touching me. Don't you bad guys ever learn? So the leaves back there, I don't think we have any reason to cross them again. So we're just going to move on from this point. We have another caterpillar right there. But I'm going to have to find my way around towards it. Yes, yes, Eerie, I hear you. Just shush, I'll get your dinner in a bit. Okay, so we have nine caterpillars. One left will be enough to feed Eerie. And we're coming close to that beehive that we tackled in the summer. And here's another caterpillar. Making it our last one for Eerie. So let's see what's going on in here now. I still hear Azuba. Oh, there he is. But where are his friends? Bzzz. Nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Oh yeah, I see why. Because it's fall and bees start migrating towards the south for winter. Of course, bees aren't the only creatures that migrate to the south for winter. As we all know. So I guess we won't have to worry about any more bees. Well, technically we still have those bouncing beehives with the swarm of bees on them. But as for Zubas, well, they've all moved out, so we don't have to worry about them. There's another extra life on top of that snare bear. And it seems as though that this hut is complete, but we're not going to explore it because there's not really anything in there besides a hive filled with angry bees. So let's go ahead and take this extra life and keep going. Okay, so moving right along. Wait, let me check something real quick. Okay, as expected, we really didn't have to cross that leaf pad. Don't you dare, Buzz Bomb. You throw me off. You are going to make me angry. Oh, man, that was close. Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? No, but I'll keep a lookout. So let's see what we can do about Napnut and his problem. I'm finding acorns. Oh, well, here's one right here. Wonder why you didn't think about looking up there first on the shelf. So I have an acorn in hand, but um, we're not going to give it to him just yet. Not until I find the other acorns. All right, so we have some more eggs right here. If we swim here, we have yet another acorn. So two down and four left. So we need to keep searching for all of the other acorns. All right, let's make our way up here. We have two more acorns, both for some reason just floating in the air. Acorns, as far as I know, don't really float up in the air and I missed that acorn I'll go back and get it in a second 
Here's another acorn right here. Five acorns, one left. Let's try to get this last one this time. I missed it again. Okay, guys, if I miss this acorn one last time, I'm going to cut to when I get it. All right, one more time. Okay, there we go. Guess I won't need a cut. I will be right back. Okay, guys. After suffering a long and painful fall, I am back up here next to Napnut's house, and I have the six acorns that he wanted, so let's go ahead and give him the acorns. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need! Here, take this! I'll see you in spring! Yeah, I'll see you in spring too, Napnut. So now that Nabnut has all six of his acorns, he's all set for winter, and he gives us a Jiggy in return. So now we can move on from here. I'm really hoping these birds don't throw me off because I've already fallen off once. Once again, I spoke too soon. Okay, gonna have to cut again. I'll be right back. And I'm back again at where I fell off. This bird needs to die. Die, you stupid bird. You threw me off once in this season, and I've already fallen off once, so I've fallen twice. Here is the switch that activates the door to winter. And I swear, if I was going to fall off this tree again, I would be furious. And if I died, I would just be so enraged. And look at that, we have a caterpillar behind Eerie. Why couldn't he just eat the one right behind him? Guess he's too lazy to pick it up. Alright, let's feed Eerie these 10 caterpillars. And I wonder why it is that he pushed me back. Guess I have to stand back when it comes to feeding him. And if he were to surprisingly eat me because he mistook me for a caterpillar, that would be bad. And I just have to yell my way out of Eerie. Thank you, Bear! Eerie zombie big bird! Must have sleep first. And so he falls into sleep yet again. So I'm guessing we helped him out completely now. Okay, so that takes care of everything in the fall except for one thing. Let's jump onto this beehive, and then from here we can jump onto the flower that we have just fully bloomed. And there's the, ne the next Jiggy. Now that everything is accomplished for fall, I will meet you guys at the winter door. Alright guys, here I am back at the start of Click Clock Wood again, and now that the winter door is open, we can go ahead and explore that. As soon as I get past these ice cubes. All right, now we can get going. So in winter, everything is pretty much covered up in snow. And from this point, all of the plants are dead. And I don't understand the deal with these Robin Hood enemies. It's the middle of winter and it's freezing cold, yet they insist on wearing what they're wearing. Green clothes and a green hat. I mean, seriously guys, this is winter for crying out loud. And we have a beehive over there, but given the fact that it's snowing and it's cold, there will be no bees shielding it, and once again we have the return of these slushies. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to kill these guys again. In this world, however, they don't drop anything useful. Still, I insist you kill them anyway, because they can cause a halt in your adventure. Oh, and apparently, that slushy left behind an Ikum Tokum. 
Let's see if we can find any more slushies. There's one right there. Like back in Priestess E Peak, you just have to attack the head, or the hat rather, in order to defeat it. There we go. From here, there should be a couple more. Up top the tree. Maybe not up top the tree, but on the path towards the top of the tree. And I think there's one more, and... Did you guys just hear something? Well, we'll check it out later. Okay, where's that last slushy? I know he's around here somewhere. There he is. And he's guarding that grunty switch as well. Oh, nice shot. You're lucky. Th hey! What? Okay, that's it. You. Be gone. So that takes care of all the slushies, so we're in the clear. Here's the last grunty switch in the game, and that activates the last hidden jiggy. We'll get to it as soon as possible. Right now we're going to take care of everything in Click Clock Wood, and I really need some help. Oh, I guess I found the energy. You look for now, you stupid hive. Okay, so moving on. Let's see if we can get back into Naughty's home from here. Of course, this water is bad because... Yes, that's right. Swim under there. I see water takes double air. So ice cold water not only gives you hypothermia, but it also takes away double the amount of health that you usually would lose when swimming in normal water. So get out of there quickly as soon as you can. In Nap Nuts, not Nap Nuts, Naughty's home. Thor, I don't usually get visitor, visitors in winter. In Naughty's home, we have an extra honeycomb piece right here. And we've just got one more to collect in the game. So exciting. We can now go ahead and leave Naughty's home and get out of the freezing cold water as soon as we can. I, w I honestly wish that there was a way that we could extend our air meter, but sadly in this game there isn't a way. So we're just going to have to deal with it. So we're finally out of the icy cold water. I wonder what's going on in Mumbo's hut now. We'll check it out in a second. I just want to get to the top of the skull to get that last Jinjo right there. Bairdwin Gamer Pick to spruce up Gamer Profile. Nice. After rescuing all the Jinjos, you get a Gamer Pick. And here's another hive. Mumble's on vacation, you hairy fool. Come back in spring. Yeah, I'll come back in spring, and so will Mumbo, but you won't. That's for sending an endless swarm of bees on me throughout the whole entire game, ever since we made it halfway, and especially in summer, of Click Clock Wood. Moving right along, we still have a couple more things to pick up, and instead of just climbing the tree, I'm just going to fly around it. Okay, so, let's see, some things we can find. Well, we have a destroyed hive right here. The hive inside has an eco token, but we really don't need any more of those. See right there? Ecom token. I see some more notes right here. We'll grab those, because we really do need those. There's that sound again. We need to make our way toward the top of the tree. Well, more specifically, Eerie's Nest, to find out what that is. Yes, I hear you up there. No need to keep squealing. I said no need to keep squeal- No need to- Ah, oh, you made me fall!
Okay, so flying around the tree again, and whatever caused me to fall, boy, is he, she, or it in trouble. Sorry to have to do this, buddy. So we have notes on top of the hut. Flat flip up there and then quickly switch to the talent trot in order to get him. Alright, so let's keep moving from here. I think that this episode is going to be longer than usual. Same as the last video. Did I seriously just miss that slushy? Well, I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it now, aren't I? With that fly pad over there. Alright, and off to the sky we go. Let's deal with that final slushy. Finally shut these guys up for good. If you throw that so that's it. Die! I'm sick of you. You and your snowballs. Oh, and there was a fly pad right there. Guess I could have flown off of that one instead. We can break the windows around Napnut's home in order to gain access to parts of his home that we couldn't reach at first. In this room, we seem to have a stash of acorns. Now, now, are you serious? You sent me on a wild goose chase for acorns in fall, and you had this whole entire stash of acorns in here this whole entire time? You've gotta be kidding me. I swear, the characters in this game, they're just so inconsiderate of the main character in the game. They always have you do pointless tasks in exchange for rewards, such as jigsaw pieces. But I suppose it's all worth the while. In that room that we just explored, there was an extra honeycomb piece, and that's the last one for the game. Here's Snapnut. Mmm, make horns. Oh, and he seems to have a relative. Perhaps I shouldn't disturb them. I'm just gonna take these feathers and eggs and just go. I wonder why Nabna didn't show her before. And who knows what went on be uh, between those two. In this room, we have eggs that we can pick up. And now we can make our way out of this room. Okay, so... What else is there? Oh, we have an extra life over there. I'll pick that up real quick. And the maximum amount of lives that you can carry in this game is 9. So we have all the extra honeycomb pieces in the game. Now we just need the notes and the jigsaw pieces. And already I see notes. Where are jigsaw pieces? Oh, I almost forgot. The nest. Whoa, eerie! Eerie mighty eagle at last! Watch me as I fly into the sky! Bear friend, here it comes. Uh, thanks, Eerie. I wish that you had given us this in another way besides pooping it out, like just handing it over. But then again, you don't even have hands, you just have wings. So I guess it makes sense why you would just poop out the jiggy. Anyway, that was our last jiggy for Click Clock Wood. And these are the last notes 
and click clock wood as well, we now have all of the notes and extra honeycomb pieces in the game. And thus, Click Clock Wood 110-2 is now complete in spring, summer, fall, and winter. So we could leave Click Clock Wood. However, we need to transform into a bee for outside of Grunty's world, and you're going to see why. Of course, you guys already know, given the fact that there was a hidden Jiggy activated. So I'm going to head back into spring and transform into a bee, and I'll see you guys at the start. Alright guys, I'm transforming into a bee now, and... How you can exit the spring, summer, fall, and winter worlds, you can just go back in the way you came. Oh, also one thing to note, you can use the bee form in the spring, but you can't use it in the summer, fall, or winter. If you go in those worlds, the magic will cancel out. But we don't really need to go back there for any reason whatsoever, so let's go ahead and leave Click Clock Wood and fly up to the last Jiggy that was activated given the fact that we hit the grunty switch. There it is up there. Now if I could land. That's it guys. All the jiggies located throughout the whole entire game. We have finished everything 100%. So now from this point we can keep going. This note door, we need 765 notes to get past it. We have the maximum amount, 900 notes, so we can bypass it now. Mumble magic get weak, yeah, don't really care about that. So we're transformed back into Banjo and Kazooie, and... Hmm, I wonder what this is. It appears to be a pad of some kind, a mysterious room, and... There's a picture of Tootie's face on there. I wonder, could this be the moment in which we can finally rescue her? Well guys... I guess we're going to find out in the next episode. This episode has been going on for quite a while, so I really need to end it off here. In the next part, however, we're going to investigate that pad and see if we can recover Tootie from Grunty and hopefully sabotage Grunty's plans once and for all. So, until next time, I'm Multigame Master one Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.